Getting new is amazing, but what's even better is when we go into our wardrobe and manage to make the most of what we have. In today's video, we are doing a build and outfit with me for the apple shape body. This involves me taking the one piece and I'll build an outfit just using that piece as my starting point. I tend to go for pieces in my wardrobe that I have neglected a little bit, or maybe I used to love them, but I kind of haven't worn them a lot and I want to breathe a new bit of life into it, coming up with some new ideas. Per usual, I will of course link as much as I possibly can in the description box, but please be aware that this is about shopping your own closet and making the most of what you have, so I will link substitute if some of these pieces are no longer available, all right? But it's time to build an outfit, let's get stuck into it. My starting piece of four today is actually a blazer, which may come as a bit of a surprise to you because I normally don't struggle with blazers. However, this one is new in my wardrobe. It was gifted to me by Sheen a while back, and I absolutely love it. I do have a matching skirt for it as well that was gifted to me as well. However, navy is a new color in my wardrobe. I don't actually have a lot that works in the navy palette. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna try this one because I'm looking at it every morning and thinking, what will I wear it with? I pulled in a few bits from my wardrobe. We can try it together. I may even go in and get a few other bits and pieces simply just to try. I wanna see what I can come up with using this blazer as my starting point. This one may seem a little bit crazy, but I think with this jacket, it's all gonna come down to what top I wear underneath. I think with the navy trousers, these are my usual wide leg trousers you've seen to death here on my channel, have them in loads of different colors, and I think they were perfect in the navy with the jacket. I like the idea of it being closed. I have no belt on anything yet, but with the belt on, I think it'll look fab just hanging open as well. I think it would equally look great with just a dark pair of jeans as well. I think it's all gonna come down to what top I'm wearing underneath. And I went a little bit crazy and I pulled this one out thinking, is this gonna work? But you know what? I actually think it does. I like this combination. It's a little bit different. I'm not really sure. And you know why I'm not sure about this jacket is because it's double breasted. It has the two rows of buttons and that's not always the best on someone like me who don't have a waist. If you are more of a triangular shape and you have a very narrow waist compared to the bottom half, when you put the double breasted on, you're kind of widening your waist a little bit and you would put yourself in proportion to your lower half. However, as an apple shape and I'm very rectangular, I don't have much of a waist so the double breasted means it actually just widens your view of my tummy and it's not always the best. A single button is best, which is why we normally go for the belt buckle. Remember, the belt buckle in the middle is where we draw the attention. Here with this jacket, we draw attention to the buttons. So, 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 so. I still love a double breasted. I still wear double breasted. It is a personal choice whether or not it's for you, if it matters. But back to the top. I love the stripy top. I think it works fantastic with it. I wasn't sure if it, was, if it was going to work simply because it has a gold thread in the jacket and then with the stripes and stuff, but I actually like it. It's interesting enough, but it's not so much top that it's kind of taking over, if you know what I mean, with the blazer on. It's just a little peekaboo moment. And I actually really, really like this outfit. Let me try a different top because I really do think it's just going to come down to whichever top that I put on underneath this. And then I can always just change the bottom halves. Brown and navy goes fantastic together. And this would be my absolute favorite combination to work with when I work with navy. So I just thought I'd throw on the brown top. It's just a little tank top that I have under. I do have a long sleeve as well that I could have put on same color basically, but it's just so you can see it. And I think with the gold thread, the brown goes fantastic together. And now that I'm standing here thinking, I think I might actually just take off these buttons. Do you know that? Oh, what's up Lucy? Lucy's ready for her nap now. She's trying to get comfortable somewhere. Hi, sweetie. But brown and navy. And I just popped on the belt as well because I wanted to show you. Now, imagine these buttons weren't there, right? Your eye is going to land on the buckle. Can you see it when you see the buttons? Your eye lands on the buttons. So I think I might just remove the buttons, to be honest with you. Well, but then I can't close it. Oh, I don't know. Why don't you step on my little fluff ball here? Okay. Again, I love this combination. Very simple, very basic, very easy. I'm going to try a different top, simply just see what I have in my wardrobe that might work. I just pulled in all my little vest tops, but instead of standing and putting them all on, I'm simply just going to do this because otherwise it could take me forever. 
what do we think about like an orange this was very close in color to the dress that i wore in the intro and this this i love this looks fab i love this color again just plain simple little tank top this one is from sheen or something like that all right let me try the other colors i have a very nude thingy okay this one is nice too it has a little bit of color but not like it's not stark white very muted this one is a winner as well i still love the orange better but this one's good baby yellow let's try that okay i love this one as well this is really nice you okay sweetie this one is really really nice as well Ooh, so many options baby pink how do you work mm. okay it's not like never but it's not yeah i need to wear this yeah not too fond of this one that's being honest with you so this one's a no i of course pulled a plain white as well because white and navy such a classic combination again i could definitely wear this i wouldn't be opposed to wearing white underneath it but it doesn't kind of bring me joy like the orange one did that's for sure the last piece i pulled out of my wardrobe is a silver sparkly top sadly i don't have it in gold and i think it would have been fab in gold underneath but again i just wanted to try but because we have gold in the jacket what do you want to wear silver with it? No, I don't think so. This has now left me with three colors and these are just basic tank tops, which I mainly get on Sheen or I get them in Primark. And I love all three of these colors with the navy. This is brilliant. This one is without a doubt my favorite and I think it works so well with the gold and the navy. But this is fab because that means I now have a three, four, steady options that I can easily wear underneath this jacket and then it's a matter of changing up the bottom halves and see what I can work with there so so far so good now it's a matter of trying the bottom half and see if I want to keep the trousers or should I try it with the skirt again so many options it's all about mixing and matching what we have for my first choice of bottoms, I've stayed with the wide leg navy trousers. I went for the orange tank top and I've added a little belt because if the jacket is open, we now have the focal point where the eye is drawn to. I am still debating whether or not I should take those uh, buttons and these pockets off. Maybe just add a single clear plastic button instead so I could still close it. We'll see, I'll decide. But for shoes, I went with flats. Now I don't have many shoes. I don't actually have any navy shoes apart from a canvas pair of shoes. You'll see them in a minute. But other than that, I don't have any navy shoes. So I decided to go for a little color sandwich. And I found the one and only pair of orange flats that I have. They do have a bit of a bling buckle in the front, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it because I kind of think the jacket is a little bit extra with the gold in it. And then you have the orange, red, and then just plain and then bling down by the toes. I really, really like this option and I'm going to be taking a snapshot of this again because we used the layer, no belly in sight. This is fab. I really, really love this combination. I would definitely pull this out and wear it in my wardrobe, but I am so delighted to see that even with the pieces that I have already, I don't have to go out and buy a whole load more to make this jacket work for my wardrobe. I have plenty of pieces, but let me show you. I have two more bottoms I want to try. Let me show you the next one. For my second option, I have gone with a pair of jeans, dark wash flared, no distressing, no ripping, no tearing. And I have teamed it with a little canvas shoe. This is the only navy shoes I actually own. So I thought, yeah, they might just work. But I teamed it then with the white little tank top. Just don't forget to wear nude underwear underneath a white tank top, okay? But I wanted the white that I have on the shoes to be repeated in the top so it's more coherent. Just like with the wide leg trousers, I've added the belt so we have that little belt buckle as a focal point if we keep the jacket open. But of course, we can always close it and we can always take the belt and add on top if we fancy. This is just a bit more dressed down option and I really like it. And again, there's no tummy in sight, even though these jeans are actually more belly-ish because we have the layers of the jacket 
we're not seeing that belly, which is fantastic. And for those of us who are more top heavy, I need to even add a little bit of slight flare jeans like this will just put us into proportion. So if you are an apple shape, definitely give boot cuts and flares, a slight flare a try as well. It can look fantastic on our body shape. So this one is a bit more of a pared down, a bit more casual outfit, but it's great to know that I can use the jacket for a casual outfit. But last, let me try it with the matching skirt and just see what we can come up with there. My last bottom half is the matching skirt. And I decided to actually just recreate the outfit that I did when I got this set in the first place. The reason for that is because I want to wear the long boots with it. I think, I don't know, it's, I don't think you'll ever get too old to wear a short skirt. It's all about how you feel in it. But I personally feel that I'm too old to have all this leg on display. So I feel happier. I feel more confident with wearing the boots even though I'm wearing the short skirt. There's not as much skin on display, I suppose. And I like this look. I like this combination. So I think this, this is just it. I possibly could go for other combinations, but again, it comes into with which boots I then have that would actually work with it. So I'm just recreating the first look that I ever did with this suit. And I really, really do like it. I think it's a very classy, very elegant look. And I think it works even for my age as well. So I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna snap a photo and again, layers, no belly. Yeah, this is perfect. I really like this combination and I would wear this. I might even wear it for the rest of the day, you never know. But that is it for today. That was quite a lot to go through simply just for one jacket. But I hope you can see the process that I go through with making sure that I have pieces that work with the piece in order for me to decide to keep it in my wardrobe. And this, this set is absolutely staying now. Even though the skirt may not be my most worn, that's for sure. I just like having the option and I love the jacket. I can now wear it with confidence because I have so many options and I don't have to go and buy anything new to make sure I have anything that works with it. As I said earlier on, I'll link as much as I possibly can in the description box for you. I will put a little star next to all the pieces that are actually available that I'm sharing. And if there's no little star, it's because I have left the sub substitute instead. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.